Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Happy start of spooky season. You guys, we are finally kicking off drills and chills. This is the fifth year for this fabulous community event that centers around and celebrates all things autumn and Halloween. And I, I can't wait to get started with you all. We have been uh, planning and prepping and are so excited for what the next couple of months have in store for you. I wanted to hop on today just to do a quick kickoff video and recap with you guys what this event is, how to participate, and hopefully answer most if not all of your questions so that you can jump right in with us. So um, I'm also going to pop some graphics up on the screen. If you prefer to read instead of just listening to my voice, you can totally do so. So anyway, I am hosting this event this year with my friend Lindsay from Emeralds and Fairy Lights. So if you haven't already subscribed to her channel, be sure to do so. She makes fantastic diamond painting content in addition to hosting Drills and Chills with me this year. Um, so like I mentioned, Drills and Chills is an annual community crafting event. It's centered around Halloween in the autumn season. It's our fifth year in a row for this event and my third year of hosting. And I've been uh, heavily involved with the people that originated this event as well and have their blessing for any changes or adaptations or things that we have made to the event, uh, but have really tried to keep it in the spirit of of what they created. Uh, so this year uh, primarily focuses on diamond painting. However, you are welcome to involve um, to participate if you are a paint by number enthusiast, a cross stitcher, or an adult coloring lover. Um, this event's taking place between September 1st and October 31st. So it's a two month event. You have some time. The way that it works is we're going to be doing some weekly videos along with some incredible weekly giveaways every single week. And this year we have some incredible sponsors. I want to point you down to the description box of this video where there is going to be a really, really vitally important list that I want you to take a look at. That is going to be the list of our sponsors. And we honestly could not make this event happen without our amazing sponsors. And um, we have had so, 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 so much donated um, to to our event that Lindsay and I are having to, we're both doing weekly videos every single week because we have that much to give away. And yes, you're welcome to, to enter for on both of our channels and both of our videos for those giveaways. But if you take a look at this sponsor list, I would love for you to go and share uh, share some love, show some love to, to our sponsors. You'll also see a list of some different things that they're offering. Many of them are offering discount codes or have Drills and Chills themed collections and uh, special merch like available. So please go and take a look. Please note as well that this doc is live. We're still nailing down a couple of last minute details and a couple things we're waiting on. So be sure to check back if you see anything in there that says TB know that it's going to be updated. So uh, that link will stay the same and you can check back at any time and it'll be, it'll be in each of our weekly videos as well. Uh, so yes, you'll want to check back um, each week. We're planning to post our weekly videos on Saturdays and we'll have instructions in those videos for how to enter for the weekly giveaways. Now, occasionally, you know, life happens. Lindsay and I both have little ones and um, our hectic schedules. So sometimes those videos might get bumped to a Sunday, but the plan is for Saturdays for our weekly videos on each of our channels. So uh, watch those videos each week. We'll give you the instructions for how to enter and just to make sure you follow that. So the event's going to culminate in a grand prize drawing um, that well, the event will end on October 31st. We will draw the winners in early November. Um, and we have an incredible set of grand prizes to give away this year, <clears throat> including some really large gift cards and really amazing grand prize bundles. And we'll be sharing more details with you on those very soon. Again, we're just finalizing some of those last details. So I'm sure you're wondering, how do I join? Tell me, how do I enter? Is there a form? What do I do? Uh, so there's a couple of steps to this process. First, to, to join in because this event does require a new start and a finish if you want to be eligible for the grand prizes. Um, this is what you need to do for that and just to participate in general. So um, first, either on or after September 1st, you don't have to start on September 1st, you can join in any time before the end of, the, of October. Um, please post a start photo, which is just a picture of your, you know, your, your project with no diamonds placed. It's okay if you've kitted up, it's, that's fine, but with no diamonds placed. Uh, please post that in one of two places. Um, first option is in our event Facebook group, which is actually there are three options. There are three options. Okay, first option is in the event Facebook group called Drills and Chills 2023. There will be a thread in there that is pinned in the featured section that says you can post your start photo here. Um, 
Second option, if you have a public Instagram profile, you can post your start picture on Instagram with the hashtag, just on Instagram in particular, include the hashtag Drills and Chills 2023. So it's easier for us to find. Third option, if you don't have either of those social media platforms, we still want you to be able to participate. You can email your start photo to um, either one of us and we will manually enter it. And it's, that's not a big deal. I don't want to make anyone create social media if they don't want that in order to participate. So that's option three. I do, I think I forgot to mention that in the original announcement video. Um, a month or two ago. So know that that is an option. You can email it to um, diamondsandwashi at gmail.com. My email is always in my description box as well. Um, now, if you want, there's no, there's no requirement to post progress pictures throughout the event at all. But if you like the community aspect, feel free to post project pictures to your heart's content on Instagram or in the Facebook group for the event and you know, that kind of thing. Um, it's easier to find if you use the event hashtag, which again is drills and chills 2023, but again, posting progress pictures throughout, there's no weekly update <clears throat> requirement. It's that part's not required. And then finish your project before October 31st, if you want to be eligible for the grand prize and, um, fill out the grand prize Google entry form, which will be linked in our event videos. Once the, once the event actually starts starting in our week one videos, that'll also ask you to include a picture of your, of your finished project. And we will be going back for the winners that are drawn. We'll be going back to make sure that you posted your start photo on or after September 1st as well. Um, as far as what qualifies, um, this, this includes, like I said, it's primarily diamond paintings, but we are also including if you want to do paint by number, cross stitch or adult coloring. Uh, and it's things that use really kind of classic, what you think of as autumn or Halloween icons or imagery. Um, a good rule of thumb that we say is if, if, if you showed an image to a stranger, would they associate it immediately with either Halloween or autumn. Um, licensed images are strongly suggested, but are not required in order to participate in the community aspects or enter for the weekly prizes. Um, however, a licensed image is required in order to be eligible for the grand prize giveaways. Um, so just, just know that, that that's something that um, Lindsay and I do feel strongly about. We don't wanna exclude any anyone from participating in the event in general, but that is something we've decided to, and, and that was the case last year as well, to require for the grand prize entry. If you have questions about licensing, why it matters, and just how to learn a little bit more about it, I've got a video or two that I'll link below in the in the description box so you can take a look at. Uh, so there's no minimum size requirement. Projects can be any size. They can come from any shop as long as they, they fit the theme. And um, we'll include a list of, of shops that we've put together that we know of that we feel confident in having licensed artwork. Please know that this shop list is not the be all end all. It's not comprehensive. There are certainly shops on here that may have kits that are, are licensed and are above board. That's totally fine. You do not have to buy a kit that from one of these shops in order to be eligible for the grand prize. We just need to be able to verify that the kit that you're working on is licensed. So uh, let me get into some quick F FAQs. So uh, what qualifies as Halloween or autumn themed? This is a really common question. Um, for us, again, it's kind of that classic imagery. Halloween or autumn icons like pumpkins, skeletons, uh, monsters, autumn animals, fall leaves, autumn landscapes, that sort of thing. Thing, something that we're really going to strongly associate with fall um, and uh, skulls sometimes fall under that too because we've had that question uh, magic and witchcraft like Harry Potter kits will count uh, spooky or ominous scenes and icons from holidays honoring the dead like sugar skulls so yes like day of the dead and sugar skulls those those do count as well um, can I use my project from another event on this one too absolutely as long as they both fit the theme go for it. Double dip to your heart's content. As long as the other event hosts are okay with double dipping too, but we're, we're happy to have you. If you're working on a kit for another event as well, feel free to join in with us too. Uh, can I enter more than one project? So, um, yes, but <laughs> is the answer to this one. Feel free to complete as many projects as you like. I know I'm planning to work on several, potentially all of these. We'll see. I have even more to choose from. You can complete as many projects as you want that fit the theme. However, as far as the grand prize entries goes, those are limited to one per person. So uh, just to keep it fair, because I know there's lots of varieties of sizes of projects and different diamond painting speeds. Um, we just think like it's, it's enough of a challenge. That's part of the event is it is a challenge challenge to uh, do a new start and a finish to be eligible for the grand prizes. Uh, we don't want to necessarily make it more competitive or complex than that. So one entry for the grand prize packs per person. As far as how to enter for the giveaways, um, like I mentioned earlier, to enter for the weekly giveaways, you just got to watch our weekly drills and chills videos, which again will take place on both of our channels each week. And yes, you can enter for the weekly prizes both on Lindsay's videos and mine um, each week. 
and listen for the directions that we provide in those videos for exactly how to do that. To qualify the, for the grand prize drawings, you must finish your license project and sign up with a finished photo on the Google form, uh, the grand prize entry Google form, which will be separate from the weekly prize entry Google form. They'll be labeled really clearly. Just, just read the top. <laughs> um, you have to finish and, and fill out that form that'll include a picture of your finished project uh, by October 31st at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. The winners will be announced in early November. We'll do a, a wrap-up video. Um, I know Lindsay is doing something that is specific to um, witch theme projects, kind of in honor of the Festival of Witches that she's hosted in past years. So if you have questions about that, please go and take a look over on her channel. She'll have more details about that specifically. One other note that I did want to mention because we've been getting this question asked a lot and I did forget to mention it earlier is that uh, for this event uh, we are um, not considering mystery kits to be eligible if it's like um, if it's a mystery kit that is the same for everyone. So for example I think Diamond Art Club and maybe Craftably have had mystery kits that it's it's the same for everyone. It's like, oh, this is mystery kit number 32, or this is mystery kit landscape. And uh, it's the same for everyone. Those mystery kits we are saying are not eligible just because there's too high a risk of spoilers. It just gets really complicated. Um, but if it's a personalized mystery kit, like I think the one with the diamond art does or Jada Gem Shop does, that is actually personalized to you and it's just a mystery to you. And if someone else orders a mystery kit, it's gonna be different those are fine. Um, I hope that that makes sense. And the the spirit behind it is just to try to avoid actual spoilers for people. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I think that that, that recaps um, what the event is and, and how to participate in everything pretty well. Feel free to join in on our Facebook group and participate if you have Facebook or if you have a public Instagram profile, feel free to use the hashtag. Um, let me know if you have any questions at all. There's going to be a ton of helpful links down in the description of this video. I want to extend a really heartfelt thank you again to our sponsors. We are so incredibly lucky to get to partner with so many amazing, amazing sponsors this year. And um, I cannot wait to start to share with you guys what all we're going to be giving away every single week and for the grand prizes. So stay tuned for that. But let us know if you have any questions. You're welcome to contact myself or Lindsay from Emeralds and Fairy Lights. We're really looking forward to kicking off this event with you guys and just celebrating all things uh, Halloween and fall over the next couple months. So thank you guys so much. Uh, I'll see you in the week one videos here and on Lindsay's channel here in just, you know, a day or two. So have an amazing start to your spooky season and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.